up? I'm Jim. This is State Street Moto. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Do me a favor. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, comment. I'd appreciate it. Based on the analytics I can see from YouTube about my channel, I know that most of you watching this video fall between the ages of 45 and 55 years old and you're men. I know this because YouTube tells me. I also know that 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So that's why I ask. Hook a brother up, help me out, click subscribe. If you're watching this stuff anyway, it doesn't cost you anything. So because of that, because it's mostly older people, and because I'm old, let's face it, I'm 53, I'm going to be 54 years old, and I'm no spring chicken. I'm starting to feel my age. I really am, especially just since I decided to abuse my body most later in life instead of earlier in life. So I, it got me thinking, are there things that I do now when I'm taking a long-distance trip? Are there things that I have to consider now that I didn't have to consider when I was in my 20s, or hell, even in my 30s. And so I asked, I asked David and Juan, because we all fit into the same kind of age group. I asked them, you know, hey, what, what things do you think about differently now when you take a long distance trip and you're older than you had to think about when you were younger? That's a good way to put it. And I got a pretty decent list back, so I thought I would just share a few of those with you. First thing is, we all agreed that because we're older, we uh, do not, we're less stressed about approaching a trip. And, and, and what I mean by that is, we don't overthink it when we're planning. We, we've, we've, we're comfortable enough and we've done it enough that we're all like, you know, we can just wing it once we get past the first day. And there's not so much regiment. And I think all of us, when we were younger, were way more regimented, were way more uh, into planning and having to know, all right, what are we doing? When are we going to get there? You know, all that stuff. So that's one thing that's changed is we don't think about that stuff like that anymore. That's one thing. We do have to pack more when you get older. And, and well, let me, let me state that differently. As you get older, one of the things you have to consider is what things do you need in your day-to-day -day life while you're on the road? Because potentially, that list can get pretty big as you get older. I'm talking everything from the daily medica medication you have to take. Say you're on blood pressure medication or cholesterol or something else. The daily medication you got to take, you got to think about having that with you. The the if yeah, you're someone that has sleep apnea, you might have to bring a CPAP machine with you. You got to think about where you're going to pack it. It's going to take up room in your suitcase. So certain things you end up having to bring more, having to bring now as you're older that you didn't have to bring when you were younger, right? But I would say we probably pack less now than we would have when we were younger. When you're younger, you're kind of stupid. You feel like, oh, I've got to bring, you know, I need an outfit for every day. I need two outfits for every day, one to ride in and one to go out in at night when we get wherever we're going. You get older, you start to care less about that shit. And I'll give you an example. When we Typically, when we do our really long distance trips, think transcontinental. I wear the same pair of pants every day till I get to wherever we are stopping for a couple of days before we start making our way back home. And then I wear the, I wash them while I'm there, and then I wear the same pair every day on the way back till I get home. I don't have a new pair of pants for every day. And now I do bring, I bring a casual pair of shorts, I bring a casual pair of jeans, so when we're at the hotel at night, I can change into something that is clean, at least, and use that when we go out to eat. So I, I would say we actually pack less now, even though we have different things that we have to take into consideration when we're packing. I think we all pack less stuff than we did 
when we were younger or than we would have when we were younger. I know for a fact we passed less stuff every damn trip. Because the first California trip, I was way overloaded. I was way overpacked. I did not need to bring half the shit that I brought with me that first California trip. And so the second California, or you know, second time I went on a long distance trip, I didn't bring near that much. You know, I really parsed down what I was loading out on the bike. Ibuprofen. As you get older, your muscles get sore. And it's harder for you to recover. I remember when I was young, I could go out and just, you know, cut up a bunch of firewood, come in, and I might be sore that night. The next morning, I wake up and I'm fine. I do that shit now as a 53-year-old. I'm going to be feeling it for a couple damn days. Unless I medicate. And that's where the ibuprofen comes in. And I, I'll tell you why I prefer ibuprofen to some of the others. One is, it's an anti-inflammatory. I like stuff that keeps swelling down as well as gives you some pain relief. But bring ibuprofen with you. Uh, all of us now bring earplugs. And those earplugs come in handy when, you know, you're on the road for a long day and you got the wind in your ears the whole fucking time. The earplugs help then. The earplugs help when you get to your hotel that night, just depending on who you end up bunking with. They might be as bad as I am at snoring because I rattle windows. I should have a CPAP machine, but I don't. So I snore, and uh, it helps if you've got earplugs because then I'm not keeping you awake. That's another reason earplugs are helpful. Probably one of the biggest changes between when we were 20, 30 years old, and now is most people are making more money when they get to this stage in their life than they were when they were in their 20s and 30s. And even if the amount isn't that much, you know, that much different from what you made when you were in your 20s and 30s, you don't have the same kind of expenses and financial responsibilities by the time you hit your 50s as you do when you're in your 20s and 30s. My 18-year-old son is cheaper for me per year than he was when he was one, two, three years old, four years old, five years old. Same thing with my daughter. They're cheaper as they get older. They're really expensive when they're younger. And because of, if you do have young kids, that might actually limit your ability to be able to tell the wife, hey, I'm going somewhere for two weeks with my boys on the motorcycle. I'll see you when I get back. You kind of can't, you know, you kind of almost can't do that when you're in your 20s and 30s. It makes it more difficult, you know. So I would say that, and that makes it because, because we have more financial means and more flexibility in our schedule, it makes it so that we can do stuff more in kind of a just, you know what, if we don't get that far today, it doesn't matter. It's all good. We'll just stop early. We'll hang out here, see some things. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for all those that have subscribed. Holy shit, man, I'm almost at 500 subscribers on the channel. And that's, that's just fucking cool. It really is. All right, guys, I'm out. I'll talk to you later. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>